thanks to farmer Dennison Collard of Native Hemp Extract for donating plant material for this demonstration. Happy Sunday everybody, Dr. Tiffany Jones here and today's topic is juicing with cannabis. Not everybody wants to feel the psychoactive effect of cannabis, but they want the health benefits. And so when we do not apply the heat, then we don't turn THCA or CBDA into the psychoactive form, THC or CBD. But research shows that these cannabinoids still have anti-inflammatory effects in our body. I want to make you familiar with Dr. William Courtney, if you have not learned of him yet. He is a medical doctor in California who prescribes people to juice the cannabis to help with their different complaints. And his wife is a wonderful testimony to this. She had been on 40 different medications at one point. Uh, was diagnosed at a very young age with autoimmune conditions and many different infections. And she found that cannabis is what has helped her and has helped to put her in remission and get off of all of those medications. So I will introduce you to him and we'll get on to juicing. Here you can see the anatomy of the cannabis plant, which shows the flower buds, the sugar leaves, and the larger fan leaves. The fan leaves are fabulous for juicing and can be considered a food. Greens that are juiced provide us with enzymes for energy, folate that aids detoxification, vitamin K that helps with bone density, and other minerals that relax muscles. Dr. Williams' website is cannabisinternational.org. You can see this diagram there about the proposed mechanisms of action of the different cannabinoids in our body. It's patented for its benefits, it's approved of by the FDA, and in fact is clearly a dietary uh, essential that should be in everyone's diets. And so I'm hoping that the DEA, which you know, is, is lagging behind, will, you know, on cue with the whole organization, decide that, okay, well, let's go ahead and reschedule this because you know, clearly we can't have a patent on its utility and say it has no utility. I mean, the conflict is just, it's uh, you know, patently absurd. The U.S. patent just is clear evidence as to why you want to eat this plant as a, as a leafy green vegetable and include it in your diet. And so. Dr. Courtney recommends for chronically ill patients to juice 15 leaves along with two buds that are two to four inches long, harvested when the trichomes are turning milky and not yet amber. Juiced cannabis has a mild flavor. Consider also juicing carrot or your seasonal produce to get more antioxidants and aid detoxification. Dark berries are a great source of vitamin C and also pigments that are protective of our vascular system. Thank you. 